Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm your host, Scott Ramp, and I have uh, Alicia Crandall here from the Missoula Agent Services to talk about fall for prevention and how to reduce your risk of falls um, this spring. So, um, we got springtime weather. Uh, last week was spring break. Uh, the weather, it just started raining again outside. So if you guys are planning on heading out, expect a little bit more of that and maybe a little bit of snow happening this week as well. Um, today, you have a high of 46, a low of 34. So how can there be snow? So it's <laughs> you can have that 60% chance of snow, 70% uh, chance of rain mixtures happening all day. Tonight, you have an 80% chance of showers. So if you guys plan on going outside today, be uh, wear some of those uh, um, basically windbreaker type clothing, you know, something that really dries easily and just kind of has the rain just washed right off of you. So it's not really good sweater weather. Uh, get a nice raincoat. Um, but of course, later this week, uh, you can have some breezy rain snow, then snow happening Thursday night. Uh, Friday, it looks like s uh, snow likely, then rain, and then all mixtures. Uh, Friday's going to be mostly cloudy, then a slight chance of rain. Saturday, you have that 20 to 90% jump for all day, and I'll, I'll give you an update on all that and more. But of course, uh, the weather is supposed to get as high as 52 by this weekend, so hopefully we'll be able to see some of that as we go into the weekend. So I'll give you guys the other report on Friday. But uh, let's talk about some news things. Uh, if you haven't already heard, uh, Robert Ty Robinson uh, died at the age of 102 on March 30th. He's a World War II veteran, Boy Scout, and advocate for many projects that make up the Missoula that we know today. Um, in other news, Mark Thane, MCPS superintendent, stopped by the other day, day on um, Missoula Live to talk about a bond levy that he's asking the community to vote on in an upcoming ballot um, that's going to be happening in the April-May fr um, fr time frame. It's going to be a mail-in ballot. So th this is for operations. So basically, they uh, with uh, the bigger buildings that they're building, they're asking for more money to pay teachers that they're going to be trying to hire at the MCPS level. So here is uh, basically what it entails from Mark Thane himself, superintendent of MCPS. For killing materials, part of it is to support uh, things such as utilities, but part is also to support staff. We're a, per a people intensive industry yeah. and about 90% uh, of our general fund budget dollars go to staffing, salary and benefits. So this is critical for us. Uh, we have 18 classrooms on the elementary side this year that technically exceed state accreditation standards. Uh, we uh, mitigate that by having teachers assistants, paraeducators okay. in those classrooms. So we're asking for additional support from the community. The impact would be um, in the elementary district, the $300,000 would have an impact on a $200,000 assessed property of about $7 a year. However, it actually will translate into a smaller amount than that, a little over $5 on the tax bill, because there are some reductions in some taxes that'll be levied. On the high school side, it's even more dramatic. Uh, the request is for $170,000. Uh, if it passes, however, uh, residents would still see a reduction on their tax bill of about $4 a year because we do have a $450,000 building reserve levy that is coming off the tax rolls. So uh, the net effect to most of the homeowners who live within both of our districts, which is largely the city proper, would be that uh, a $200,000 assessed property would see about a $5 annual increase in their tax bill. All right, so Mark Thane stopped by uh, MCAT just the other day for Joel's show on Missoula Live. Uh, so basically, um, you guys will be getting the ballots in sometime this month. Uh, it's a mail-in ballot, so be sure to uh, cast your vote uh, for or against this uh, bond levy. So um, yeah, just letting you guys know that's happening. Um, in state news, the election, um, this election in, the, uh, in uh, Montana is getting interesting because the Democrats are asking to get the Green Party removed from the ballot in this upcoming elections. As Republicans are to Libertarians, so are Democrats to the Green Party. The Montana Democratic Party is claiming that the Montana Green Party didn't have enough signatures to qualify for running candidates in the fall's election and wants the Green Party's candidate removed from the ballot. And this is from the Helena Independent Re Re Record. Um, to qualify for the ballot, the Montana Green Party needed 5,000 signatures from at least 34 of the state house districts. Though they did certify with over 7,000 7, signatures, they only got 30 out of 34 of the uh, 
House districts that were required, which is all 34. Um, the complaint claims at least 180 signatures aren't valid. Reasons listed include at least 35 p petitions entries that don't contain a valid signature, 171 not signed in a manner of that matches the signature on file or for the voter, seven of seven with an incorrect or invalid date, five with a printed name, and at least six matched in error to a Montana voter. So that's just some of the news that's happening in the state government politic level. But national news, um, if you haven't already heard, Villanova defeated Michigan 79 to uh, 62 in the uh, NCAA basketball tournament. Um, and that's some of the um, news that, that's going on here. I'm not going to keep uh, Alicia Crandall waiting a little any longer, so I'm going to skip on over. Um, here is a nice art clip. This is provided by our very own Rick Phillips, and this is a brand new art clip. I got like five new art clips, This just the, just, I, and I only have until April 12th to show them all. So I'm going to start showing them all for the next couple of shows. So when I come back, I'll have Alicia Crandall on fall, fall prevention um, classes that are fall, fall prevention workshops that are coming up here in April and May. All right, let me just get this. All right, come on. Hey guys, we're back here with Alicia Crandall. Uh, she is from the Missoula Asian Services and she's here to talk about uh, fall prevention workshops that are happening this month and next month as well. So there's a website you guys can go to to sign up. It's the Eventbrite. It's Missoula. Um, it's www.missoulaasianservices.com. No, dot eventbrite.com. There you go. There we go. Yeah. And this is what you get. You, go, you click on it. It's the spring stepping on fall prevention class for older adults. And this is a seven class series. Yep. So do you have to go to all the classes? Mm -hmm. So this is an evidence-based class. So it's been proven to make a difference in the lives of people 60 and over. So we encourage people that register for the class to attend all seven sessions. Um, if someone is ill and has to miss a class, that's okay. But the seven classes, I, I, what I noticed with this class and I have sat through it is most people want to come back. It's fun, it's engaging, it helps with learning exercises people can do at home. Um, it also has a component on how to check your home for safety, uh, which I think people really, really like. And uh, I think last time you were on, you were talking about uh, regaining confidence for those who have fallen. That was yeah. another workshop. Yeah. And this is uh, kind of like one of those preventative things because a lot of times uh, it costs less for, for preventative care than it is to for Absolute, aftercare. Absolutely, Scott. So this class is for people who have who have either have a fear of falling or have had a fall in the past. Um, uh, research shows that older adults are more likely to fall. So if we can prevent it in any way, we, we want to do that. Our facilitator, we are so lucky at Missoula Aging Services to have Elaine Carmichael on our staff. Elaine teaches this class. She's a retired physical therapist of 35 years. Uh, she taught her first class at River Ridge uh, in the winter. 
every single person came back and enjoyed the class. Her evaluations were great. And you also said that uh, most of her classes sold out yeah. because she was so popular. It so did. be aware that uh, you know you better sign up as fast as you can because you might miss out on this. Yes, we currently have seven spots available for this class that's kicking off at the Senior Center. You do not need to be a member of the Senior Center to attend. Um, we also, there's a charge for this class. It's $25 for one person or two for 40. And we will never turn someone away if they cannot pay or don't want to pay. Um, if someone would like a no cost or reduced cost ticket, you just call us at 728-7682. It's an honor system. Ask for a reduced cost or no cost ticket. And also you can find this and more information by going to Missoula agingservices.org. Yes. So tell me a little bit more about what people can expect from these classes. Sure. Uh, they can expect to be fed healthy snacks. They can expect to meet friends. They can expect to walk away with a routine of simple exercises they can do at home that are going to strengthen their confidence and their bodies. Um, I, I learned a lot from this class. Um, this class is for people age 60 and over, and I encourage anyone, if you have questions, to reach out to our call center at Missoula Aging Services to ask questions, and we would love to have more community members joining. Because yep. uh, definitely uh, with a lot of homes, there's a lot of stairs, and with stairs, yeah. it's very tricky for sure. Absolutely. Especially when you, as you get older, um, your legs don't work as they used to, even a lot of times. Even people who uh, ride their bikes... Uh, on a semi-regular basis, if they t had a whole, all day of riding their bike, they can still Absolutely. go upstairs, like get you know, the rubber legs. Elaine will talk in the class a lot about, um, for example, a long robe and how that can be a safety hazard, or wearing slippers that are big and bulky. So, it, um, what happens when you use a yak track outside in the winter, and how to safely get those on and off? Um, we also um, bring in a lot of community speakers. Uh, Mountain Lion comes. Um, we have a PT that's working here in Missoula that comes as a guest speaker. We talk also about how medications and vision can impact um, risk of falling. Uh, there's just a lot of moving parts to this class yeah. that have been researched. I mean, um, I mean, I think one of the biggest things that um, it's the phantom stair, you know, when you're walking up the stairs and you're yeah. just like, okay, there's one more step. And then yeah. you just, just, you know, you just don't know it. Because sometimes, regardless of how much light, how much you can see, there's always, if you take your mind off of it a lot of times, you know, you're so used to going up and down the stairs. You're just like, you know, these are my stairs. I know how many steps are on here. And then you have a, a, even the slightest lapse in judgment. Yeah. You just, like, take the phantom step and you, you, you just basically, um, base, I don't know, you just kind of trip over yourself. Absolutely, and stress, mental health, all of those things can impact um, your capacity to have good balance. So these are all things that are talked about in the class. I highly recommend it, and I hope anyone out there that is curious at all will, will call and give us a call and ask questions. Yep, so once again, um, people can go to your guys' event um, bright website, which is missoulaagingservices.eventbrite.com, and they can go to... Uh, this nice little page. And of course, th there's many classes that yep. Missoula Aging Services provides. We so do. You, all you got to do is look for the spring stepping on fall prevention for adults. Thank you. Yeah. So is there anything else you want to say before we wrap up? I just want to say thank you for yeah. having me here today and encourage people if, if they do not want to go online to call us at 406-728-7682 and ask about the stepping on classes. Right. Well, Alicia Crandall with Missoula Agent Services. We'll be right back with more show after this. Well, Alan, thanks so much for having us here. Um, Restore is a, a fundraising arm, right, of Habitat for Humanity. Yeah, absolutely. This store helps us. In fact, it helps people in a lot of ways. It helps people get very affordable furniture, appliances, paint, building supplies. We've got a big warehouse in the back and a yard in the back as well with building supplies. Uh, but all to support the mission of helping 
people who are housing challenged to actually own their own home. And uh, Piccolo. Piccolo. Could you use it in the sentence, please? The band director thought that the flute section needed one more piccolo. Piccolo. P-I-C-C-A-L-O. CDC, you know, the Center for Disease Control? Yeah, yeah, the CDC. Yeah, I, I don't know why we're dancing for viruses or stuff like that. But yeah, it's a uh, thing for that, so, uh, yeah. My partner? Well, I mean, she works at the Missoula International School. She talks Spanish all the time. So, Julian! Your Zika costume looks great. Look at that. Doctor, you know, dance doctor, and you're Zika, and we're accepted for the CDC here. No, 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 no. This is a fundraiser for the DEC. No, no, no. Downtown Dance Collective. <laughs> <laughs> that makes more sense. <laughs> uh, I thought we were going to be dancing for viruses. That's why I'm like a doctor. Why are you doing this? No, 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 no. Uh -huh. You gotta get that off. Can I get this off? Yes. It's almost human nature, certainly in this country, to want to come to the rescue of things that are imminently threatened. And this is a frustration I have with certain funders of the conservation community. When you go to them asking for funding to proactively protect rivers, they're like, come back to us when it's threatened. And it's it just economically, I, I, I compared, remember the, the slide where I compared the Clark Fork cleanup to protecting the snake headwaters? Wild and scenic protection for $2,000 a river mile versus remediation for $8.3 million per river mile. So it's a, it's a perception we have to change, but it definitely exists.
Lots of great programs airing on MCAT this week on MCAT Channel 189. But let's talk about Channel 190 for a second. Uh, city Council is, is happening. Uh, community uh, meetings are alive, happening all this morning and perhaps this afternoon. But let's kick things off with a little bit of uh, Lewis and Clark. Um, Dave West uh, Westfall, he's a Lewis and Clark committee report, gave the committee report um, for Lewis and Clark on their March 21st meeting about recycling and how the city of Missoula can follow their example. I constantly hear people say, why is Missoula not recycling like crazy? This is like, this should be, people come from outside and people from the inside of Missoula say this should be like the model for recycling. We would like to propose that we figure out a way to take Lewis and Clark, that small little neighborhood, but right in the middle of everything, and try to figure out a way to make a model recycling community. Okay? So we're going to go to Republic and we're going to propose to them, hey, what if we can get 90 people or 90 percent of the people or 80 percent of the people can sign up for recycling efforts? Can we get a deal? Right. Can we get a price that makes it so attractive to people that they that they just get over the dollars and cents aspect of the equation and say, so you're going to put that bucket with the yellow cover and blue. Yep, okay, do it. All right. So that's what we're moving towards. Right? We kind of left it at that. But i got to tell you that there was a pretty fair amount of enthusiasm from the neighbors to do something. So we left it at that. Creative. All right, so that's just one of the many things that uh, Westfall was talking about during this meeting. There are other points and mentions of Bancroft Park, which seem to be um, going through many changes in the last few decades. Uh, Westfall talks about uh, what their neighborhood and their community can do to help um, improve Bancroft and also improve education when it comes to Bancroft, Bancroft Park. Protect and foster diversity of wildlife habitat. Sounds simple, it's a lot. There's a lot of endangered species. There's a lot of critters in that area that depend on that park. It's a big part of this. Promote educational opportunities for our youth. It's right in the backyard of Russell and, 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 and um, Lewis and Clark Elementary. It's right in the backyard of Sentinel. It's not far from Washington. These kids can walk, they can easily bus. And opportunities not just for youth, but for elderly and everything in between. And develop and build community engagement. This is bigger than just Lewis and Clark. This is just a subset of what we feel should be done throughout Missoula. It's part of an archipelago. When you have an, an, a, a, a semi-natural situation like this that's built on a watershed, Paddy Creek, which is a creek that turns into a canal, which turns into a ditch, which is a series of ponds. It's all this various man-made and natural stuff, which we have, by the way, pretty much all through Missoula, right? These little spots. And if you look at them as a, as a human, as a homo sapien, you go, well, that's that's a little thing over there, and that's a little pond over there. But if you're a bird, or if you're a duck, or if you're a fish, you figure out how to get from one way to another. And you don't use Higgins, and you don't use Paddy Creek. You use the water, you use the air, you use the land. These are all interconnected pieces. We want to make a model of bank drop ponds. So, of course, uh, you can watch uh, his whole report uh, during your city council. All you got to do is log on to ci.missoula.mt.us. It's a great website, and you can see what kind of meetings are happening today. So I'm going to go through this with you. All you got to do is go to your government tab. You go under city council. You go to agendas, webcasts, and minutes. Um, very easy. And it brings you to this page where it gives you a bunch of links. You just got to give it a couple seconds, and then it pops up. And you uh, see a bunch of links right here. It tells you all the videos that are happening. Uh, Public Works is live right now. So if we're able to take a quick look, we can click on the live video, and we can watch live. Oh, there's a plug-in failure. Oh, well. <laughs> that has nothing to do <laughs> with... Um, the live video, but it has everything to do with the computer. <laughs> so anyways, like I said, 
All these meetings and agendas are on here. Bike Pet Advisory Board is the more recent meeting that was up there as well. Committee of the Whole looks like they had a meeting from 10 to 11. Um, but also here's a couple other meetings here that are happening pretty much all morning long, starting pretty much started with Public Works. And it's going to go on to uh, Land Use and Planning, Public Safety and Health uh, twice, up, um, and Committee of the Whole. Um, uh, probably will happen in the late afternoon if it does happen at all. So those are some of your city council reports. I do have a couple uh, um, items as well to talk about for today, including um, MCAT's um, focus groups. So starting this morning, you guys can take a survey. Um, did you take your survey yet? Are you willing to take a few minutes to shape the future of how we communicate with each other in the next 10 to 15 years? Please take this online survey from MCAT um, and you can share your experience with Charter Cable Services in Missoula and public education and government channels, programming and services managed by Missoula Community Access Television or your Missoula's Community Media Resource is asking you about how what is your opinion on charter uh, charter cable uh, what charter should be doing for our community and you you get cable from charter tell us your story and you can take a survey and we're looking for your input and how MCAT can basically uh, improve our relationship with charter and the community to move forward um, it's it doesn't take much longer it looks like it's only going to take a couple minutes for uh, the survey to take place so you guys can log on to mcat.org to find out more but of course today is the last day for focus groups starting at 10 a.m. and um, also three this afternoon well, for only two hours you get to talk about uh, MCAT and what you want our your Missoula community media resource to be in the future as we do plan to move into the library by the year 2020 so next two years are going to be kind of all over the place with renegotiating with Charter for a franchise fees negotiation, which means we get our money through people who subscribe to Charter Cable, and we don't get any of f money from the government, but the government does regulate our money in the first place. So there's a little uh, lesson about what MCAT's all about. Um, if you want to learn more about my show, me, you can go to wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice we made you write it out twice. All you got to do is Google Wake Up Missoula. You can find me on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, speaking of events, if you guys aren't um, interested in doing um, our focus groups, which I hope you do, we're always looking for um, um, social input. We have a bunch of events that are happening starting this morning at uh, the Missoula Public Library. So if you're at the Museum Public Library this morning, uh, starting at 10 a.m., around the same time, you can uh, submit to your marshmallow candy blend of your passion for literature for your uh, particular in this uh, sixth annual library peep show. So it's peeps. You know those little marshmallow peeps that you can buy? A uh, contest where patrons create a shoe size uh, diorama about peeps candy to showcase the literary illusion or theme. This chance... Uh, this is your chance to pay homage to your favorite characters and, and uh, recreate a scene from a beloved book using these ever-popular marshmallow candies. The con uh, con contest kicks off um, April 2nd, so it already is going on, which is where patrons can begin to drop off their creations to the children's department, and it lasts until April 11th, which is the deadline. For more information, you can go to MissoulaPublicLibrary.org slash event dash events. Um, so basically, all you got to just go to MissoulaPublicLibrary.org, and it should show you a link where you guys can go to for the Peeps show. So, although Villanova beat out Michigan for the NCAA championship, you guys still get to enjoy some brackets at Missoula Public Library. Book Madness is happening for their Big Sky branch for the Final Four. Big Sky High School's March Madness style tournament of books continues with the Final Four happening April 4th. Uh, be sure to vote for your favorites online by going to MissoulaPublicLibrary.org slash branches slash big dash sky. Whew. Of course, uh, final voting begins uh, April 11th. For the, of course, this is the draft, the final four. So you can call the branch at 728 2400 8605 for more information. That number again, 728 2400 8605. And this is, uh, if you're really into books and you want it to uh, books diverse against each other, they're gonna, they've been doing a bracket um, of its of their own, con um, consisting of popular and um, f uh, favorite books of people. Of course, the long arm of the public library extends to even the Missoula Food Bank, which includes the Power Empower Place Tiny Tail. So Empower Place is at the Missoula uh, Food Bank. So you guys can go there and you 
uh, can enjoy some Tiny Tales, which happens from 10.30 to 11 a.m. Kids get to experience some reading. Maybe they get to read a cookbook. It's a, a wonderful place. This is at 1720 Wyoming Street. It's parents and tots sing, tell stories, rhymes, and enjoy open readings and socializing time at the Empower Place at Missoula's um, Food Bank. Um, QuickBooks Payroll, Missoula Area Chamber of Commerce. Of course, this year is time for um, if you uh, time for taxes and the seasons going on here. And I think one of the things that people are uh, trying to do is start their own business. So if you start your own business and you want to earn a CPE credit for QuickBooks Payroll Training presented by Certified QuickBooks uh, Advisor for Anderson Zermelin, um, topics include setting up a payroll. System conversions, general payroll services, payroll 2018 overview, tax tracking types, and much, much more in this Missoula Area Chamber of Commerce starting at 11.30 this morning. Uh, of course, if you want to just play some Scrabble on Bridge, you can do some Scrabble on Bridge around 12.30 at Missoula Senior Center. Of course, Missoula Senior, Senior Center will be hosting Alicia Crandall's event through the Missoula Aging Services for pa fall prevention. Um, hip hop. Um, Oh, wait, no, no, no. Let, let, let's talk about hip-hop after this next event. President Lecture Series Seminar at the University of Montana starts at 3 p.m. this afternoon. President Lecture Series Seminar features Andrea Wolf, best-selling science and nature winner, is speaking on Founding Gardeners, the Revolutionary Generation, Nature, and the Shaping of American Generation. So they use generation twice. Uh, the, uh, the seminar is free and open to the public. It's usually at the Gallagher Business Building, room 123, but you may want to double-check that as well. Hip Hop for Kiddos, ages 3 to 5 years old, 4 p.m. Th this afternoon, Downtown Dance Collective hosts a hip hop, hip -hop class. Um, this happens from basically, um, it seems like it's going to happen every Wednesday at 4 p.m. starting today until uh, June 6th. So this is uh, from 4 to 4.45. Students are introduced to the basics of hip hops, including choreography, uh, rhythm, simple freezes, floor work, and freestyle. It's kid friendly, epic music. This is an 11 week session. You can do an eight week session as well. Um, but the session runs basically uh, January 10th through the March 21st for Wednesdays. And of course, uh, this new one's happening basically from um, today all the way until June 6th. So they already did it before, and if you missed out, this would be a perfect chance to get involved. Um, Socrates Cafe, um, this is an event that I personally enjoy. Please join us for the informally intelligent and lively discussion of topics relating to the core areas of philosophy. So participants choose a broad question to explore teach meeting um, and spend time turning in ins it inside out, upside down, and occasionally wrong way round. No previous philo philosophical uh, philosophical sorry training is required. Just bring your nagging doubts and idle thoughts, and you can meet in the boardroom at the Missoula Public Library from 6 to 8 p.m. And why not? So if you're around the Missoula Public Library around that time anyways, you might as well go to the MCAT's focus group happening from 3 to 5 in the afternoon if you guys missed the one that's happening in about half an hour from now at the Missoula Public Library. Um, but of course, if you've seen this afternoon, you still have a chance to check it out at 3 p.m. in the Missoula Public Library. And um, yeah, so anyways, uh, Missoula Public Library also hosts a 3D printing workshop at, in the Makerspace. It's always first Thursday of the month, first uh, first early of the month, first Wednesday of the month, and it happens uh, 3D printing at 6.30 p.m. So here are some of your late night events if you guys are planning on going out and about. Um, 8 p.m., the University of Montana inside the, I believe it's the Denison Theater, is going to be hosting the uh, President Lecture Series. So if you didn't get enough of the seminar, you guys can do the Invention of Nature, Alexander von Hubbard's New World. The lecture is free to open to the public, and it's happening tonight um, at 8 p.m., and I believe it is at Denison Theater at 32 Campus Drive. So let's talk about um, some other events after we get through this um, art clip, another brand new art clip from our very own Rick Phillips. Thank you, Rick, for this wonderful art clip. And this is the Gallery of the Visual Arts, I believe.
Hey guys, welcome back. Now let's talk about some events that are happening for your Thursday. NAMI, Missoula Weekly Meeting, is happening uh, at the Providence Center starting 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. There's free weekly meetings open to anyone affected by mental illness. Discovering databases, Missoula Public Library, once again, um, starting at noon tomorrow, um, explored di databases available through the library's website. This month, the features databases are Chilton Library and Automate. Registration is required by calling 721 book otherwise known as 721-2665 and this happens from 12 to 1 p.m. in the computer classroom. Meditation for veterans is happening at the Learning Center at Red Willow. Slow things down a little bit um, as you meditate for veterans with Glenn Torsnut. Sorry, I'm like butchering names today like really bad. So it's free for veterans. Course location is the Missoula Vet Center, 910 Brooks, Missoula. Um, computer electronics in the makerspace is at 3 p.m. the Missoula Public Library. Do you have an interest in a uh, um, a computer platform? Come in and try out these electronic platforms during the com computer electronics from 3 to 6 p.m. in the makerspace of the Missoula Public Library. There's teen wheel throwing. This is for ages 11 to 18 years old, and this is Clay Studio of Missoula. This is an ongoing uh, event that's going to be happening Thursdays, April 5th through the 26th, um, basically starting tomorrow, and it's 3.30 to 5.30, and it's uh, four sessions. It's $120 for all these sessions, and it's $10 discounts if you're a member. This class is great for beginnings or returning uh, throwing students. Getting will throwing down to an art takes practice, 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 and this class students will have a lot of time to refine their own skills in various decorative and finishing techniques for a thrown wares over the course of this session. It's like the Clay Studio of Missoula and it starts tomorrow at 3.30 and it goes until about 5. Uh, gallery walk with the curator of art. So at the University of Montana, the Missoula uh, a Museum of Modern Art and Culture presents a gallery walk with MMAC curator Art Jeremy Canwell uh, for contemporary esteemed European prints, recent gift from the J. Scott Patnode. And this can be at the University of Montana starting tomorrow night at 5.15. And if you guys are interested in doing some comedy, you guys can go to Homegrown, Homegrown Open Mic Comedy Night starting at 9.30 p.m. at the Union Club. And you can, you know, do some stand-up. It's, uh, it's Missoula's stand-up location uh, every first Thursday of the month. They'll have comedy, I think, on the third Wednesday of the month at the Badlander as well. But this is where you can get some of your giggles on and try to make people laugh. Who knows? It might work. might not work. Who knows? I don't know what, what makes people laugh. Uh, anyways, uh, here are some of your other late night events that are happening for your Thursday night, which includes um, John Floridas um, with special guest Ed Stallings going to be at Imagination Brewing Company at 6 p.m. Um, NAMI uh, Family Support and Education Group is going to be at NAMI Missoula at 6 p.m. tomorrow night as well. Um, open Mic is going to be at the Green Alternative Dispensary. Uh, photo Tour Hiking the Wild Northern Rockies is going to be at La Petite Bakery at 7 p.m. Um, of course, you got Armory and Hot Pants, Missoula Open Decks Thursday at the VFW. You got Live Jazz of Plonk. You got Tyler Barham at the Sunrise Saloon. And, um, oh, that's pretty much it for your events. If you want more information about events happening in the city of Missoula, go to MissoulaEvents.net. I do have a special video for you guys. I'm bringing back dubbing stuff. Uh, I didn't show it earlier today because I completely blanked out on that. So here's dubbing stuff. And when I come back, I'll wrap up the show. Um, yeah, I'll be right back. So love is a battlefield. And I got the rocket launcher. Hmm? Uh, well, can I help you, sir? Oh, that's weird. I think he just wandered in. I hired him to wander in. Oh, right, a professional wanderer. Oh, so hello there, sir. The weather is sure weathery outside, isn't it? Uh, I'm sorry, my responses are limited. Dear, did you just get one of those coupons in the mail? Uh, uh I have a headache. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> so, um... You like to drink, don't you? Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, let me readjust here. Okay, we uh, drinking sequence activated. <laughs> so I told her, that's not a bear, that's a bar. <laughs> and things kind of blacked out for a second there. I don't remember what happened, it was really weird. But we all had a good time, that's all that matters in the end. <laughs> <laughs> that's very interesting. You got a nice taste in alcohol. Cheers. <laughs> 
Well, technically, it's not alcohol. We're supposed to act drunk and not actually be drunk. It's part of being the Wanderer's Code, you know? But I do know a couple magic tricks you might enjoy. Uh, no thank you. <laughs> no, come on, I insist. It's gonna be really cool. Check it out, see? Uh... Mmm. No, right. Okay. The trick... All right. It's very simple. I'm gonna shuffle the cards. And you pick a card. God. All right. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look over there. What's that? You clearly dropping a card on the floor. Well, now I'm gonna put this card in your pocket. Is this your card? Uh, no, not at all. Well, that card gets a little better after you have a couple drinks. <laughs> Don't be stupid. Stupid is stupid, with or without. All right, alcohol. all right, that's enough of that. <laughs> How much more time do I have to listen to this? Oh, do you like stories? Let me tell you a story. It's very quite simple. Oh, I love stories. Please, go on. Well, once upon a time, the end. Well, uh, okay. Okay guys, well if you want to learn more information about that, you can go on to my YouTube channel, Wake Up Missoula, or you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, um, you can find me on my website, wakeupmissoula.wixsite.com, slash Wake Up Missoula. All you gotta do is Google Wake Up Missoula and you'll be able to find all these social media's uh, platforms to find me. Uh, thanks for joining me and uh, I want to remind you once again is that if you are an adult, uh, older adult in your golden age, um, 55 or older, uh, stepping on fall prevention for adults is happening. Let me just give you a nice little uh, look of this. Uh, this nice little sheet. Reduce your risk of falls this spring. And I can't read because the rest of it's too small to read from the television. Um, basically, improve your strength and balance and increase your confidence to safe to stay safe and active, Stepping On is an evidence-based fall prevention program. If you're 60 years or over and have fallen in the past year or are fearful of falling, this class is for you. And this happens seven Wednesdays, starting Wednesday, April 18th, and it goes until May 30th from 1 to 3 p.m. at Missoula Senior Center. Um, it's $25 for one, uh, $40 for two, but they will not turn you away if you are on a fixed income. All you got to do is call the Missoula Asian Services at 728-7682. It's going to be at the Missoula Senior Center. Uh, nice cool little space for you guys to go check out um, and you can check out more uh, by logging on to missoulaagentservices.org well thanks guys I want to thank once again Alicia Crandall for joining me this morning on Wake Up Missoula this Friday we'll have flagship Friday and it's good to be back spring break was great I we made uh, spring flicks was a, a, a major hit we had a lot of kids who uh, got engaged and are really involved with uh, basically creating some media um media arts so thanks uh to them and thanks to you guys and also once again if you're interested in, in uh, applying to our summer camps our summer camps have launched on our mcat website so if you have a kid age nine to about 14 and also actually it's mostly like nine to like 18 because we have a zombie camp too for kids or teenagers between the ages of 14 and 18 who wish to work with zombies so you guys can sign them up um, by logging on to mcat.org and clicking on our how do i um uh, register summer camps 2018 so for wake up missoula i'm scott ramp and i won't hold you out here any longer so thanks for joining me have a good morning